Back in 2020, I got an ad for old school RuneScape on mobile. When I saw the ad, I couldn't believe that RuneScape was still a thing. I downloaded it on my iPad and my life has never been the same since. Shortly after that fateful day, I tried Iron Man for the first time during leagues. And afterwards, I decided I wanted to give it a go. So I made my very first hardcore Iron Man. Sadly, that account died to an Iron Dragon. I wasn't very good at the game. I was pissed and I had something to prove. The next day I made a new one. Fast forward two years, and now I got one of the best hardcores in the game. Let me introduce you to the Prodigal B. This account now has over 220 days played on it in a total bank value that is nearing 1 billion GP. I'm currently ranked in the top 100 at the Theater of Blood. I'm front page at the Gauntlet, and I've gathered a bunch of uniques from a lot of bosses. Recently, Jagex had one of their biggest updates to date. And for the first time in over a decade, RuneScape has new best in slot combat rings. These rings are guarded by some of the most dangerous bosses in the game. In a split second, you can die to any of them. But my goal is to kill them and to get those rings and to get all the other best in slot rings. There's a couple more items I need for this journey, but I'm almost ready. This is Hardcore Iron Man Lord of the Rings. Like I said earlier, my hardcore is looking pretty tight. I'm not a noob. I got a lot under my belt. So I need to get you up to date with what I got and what I still need. This is the prodigal B. Here is my house and these are my stats. I'm currently sitting at a total of 899s. Here, you can go ahead and take a look at my bank. Bank value is starting to get close to 1 billion GP. Pretty cool, huh? Wrong! The GP doesn't matter. What matters is these items right here. These items right here are what is going to make this journey possible. As you can see, we got some pretty cool stuff like a Kodai wand, primordial boots, an Avernic defender, all the Zenai jewelry, two pieces of crystal armor, and a bunch more. But more importantly, here are the items that I still need. I want a Bofa, a Fang, some Ancestral. There's a lot. But this series isn't Lord of the Cool Uniques. This is Lord of the Rings. So let's get back to the rings. These are all the rings that I want. I actually already have a few of them, but here are the ones that I still need. By the end of this video, I'm actually going to go and get one of these, but we'll get there soon. One of the items that is currently in my crosshairs is the enhanced weapon seed. This item comes from the gauntlet reward chest and it allows you to either craft a Bofa or a Blade of Salador. I need the Bofa. Having a Bofa will be game changing for me, but doing the corrupted gauntlet on a hardcore Iron Man is the single scariest thing that I have done on this account. The CG is a hardcore killer. You can do the easier version of the gauntlet, but the drop rates for the enhanced weapon seed are five times higher than if you just nut up and do the more dangerous corrupted gauntlet. And after two long years, it's finally time for me to nut up and conquer the corrupted gauntlet. All right, here we are at the Corrupted Gauntlet. I've gotten a few KC over the last 5,000 hours played. I'm actually ranked 17 right now at Normal Gauntlet, but I recently learned how to do the Corrupted Gauntlet, and we're going to dive in pretty hard. I have 37 right now. The drop that I want, the Enhanced Weapon Seed, is a 1 in 400. I have to Tier 3 prep every single time so that it's safer. It is pain. Okay, most people call this place the Red Prison. If I go dry here, I might lose my mind, okay? This is the most dangerous content I feel like I'm gonna get engaged with besides actually fighting the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. This grind is going to make or break this series. I'm gonna do them on stream, I'm gonna do them off stream, but this is a long grind and we have to get started, okay? The Bofa is necessary. Like I said earlier, since I'm a hardcore Iron Man, I must tier three prep as I do the Corrupted Gauntlet. What this means is that I have to go and get way more supplies than everybody else has to get because I need to be protected from the dirty, nasty, scary Hunlift Tornadoes. The Hunlift Tornadoes can easily stack you out and instantly kill you if you don't have tier three armor on. And even when you do have tier three armor, it can still hit up to 60 damage in a singular game tick. 
That is a 0.6 second window where I can be getting hit 60s if I don't move. But what that ultimately means is that I need to grab 13 of each resource. Three of the grim leaves two weapon frames approximately eight to twelve paddlefish and about 800 crystal shards on top of all of that i still need to go find and kill either a dark beast or one of the corrupted dragons so that i have all of the required items to make at least one perfected weapon to use against the hunleft oh and did i mention that that all has to be done in under seven minutes and 30 seconds Welcome to doing the Corrupted Gauntlet on a Hardcore Iron Man. Ha, ha, ha. Mm! Ooh, I feel alive. Oh, that just woke me up. It's like five o'clock in the morning. I mean, I was gaming, but still, that was an out of body experience. Okay. Okay, let's finish this kill up. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> that would have been a really awful first KC for the series if we died. Jesus Christ. All right. Good luck. And. All right. Well, what do you expect? All right, I'm about to finish a kill with a tier one weapon because I could not do math as I prepped. Curry from deep. Oh, no, he's still alive. Finally, he's dead. That stuff sucks. Wait, what? We just got a combat task? What? Wait, a grandmaster? Combat task? What did I just do? I prepped incorrectly. We got a combat task. All right, let's see what's inside the chest first. All right, nothing of interest, but what was that task? Oh, kill the corrupted Hunlef without making more than one attuned weapon. I messed up and we got a Grandmaster task done on the hardcore at the corrupted gauntlet. <laughs> okay, we take those. All right, one off of 40. Oh, 40 KC. Oh, man. All right. That's a nice round number to end on. It's currently seven o'clock in the morning. I've been kind of addicted. Good luck. All right. Nothing, no, no, nothing to note. Okay. We got some money. 40 is a nice round number. Ooh, one tenth of the way to drop rate. Let's go. Oh my god! That is like the fourth prep I have failed in a row. And like they all like were so close. If I just had an extra 20 seconds, dude, that's an extra 4KC, but that's fine. We go again. All right, after 40 minutes of failure, we're about to make it in. Please don't throw this, man. Yes! Yes, I did it. <laughs> that was way harder than it needed to be and way harder than it has been. Um, all right, we're up to 43 Casey now because I did a couple on stream today. <sighs> Good luck. I hate this place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we just almost died to a demi. I dude, I swear I looked at his room and like there was no way he could see into the other room. Oh, when I saw that next one coming, I knew my prayer wasn't up in time. I don't know if that teleport right there just saved me or not. It may have. Upon further review, I was nowhere near close to having my prayer up in time. If I didn't click that teleport at that exact millisecond that I clicked it, I would have had a massive chance at dying. Oh, that's the closest I've been to dying in a long time. Into a demi. Oh my, my heart rate right now. I can't even, I can't even. Holy. And he's dead. 45 KC. I'm officially five away from being 50 away from having 100 KC, which is just 300 away from the drop rate of the enhanced crystal weapon seed. Dude, I really thought by 45 CG, I'd at least have an armor seed or something. They're one in 50, but still 
Cause I used to be a pussy and run a lot of the normal gauntlet in hopes that I'd get the super rare drop of the enhanced crystal weapon seed. I did do 386 of them before I finally decided to move on. So uh, I am already sitting on three of the six armor seeds that I need. So that is kind of cool. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> oh, man. The kills are hard tonight, dude. I don't know why, but they're hard. <laughs> I had no food, man. I was going to have to leave. Pain. I don't have any more food. <laughs> oh, I need to leave. I just need to kill him right now. Just please die. All right, I think I'm going to stay. I think I'm going to stay and try to do this. This may be my final words. Who knows? I should really fucking leave. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> Oh, 50 KC, is that a uh, Grandmaster Combat task? Oh, dude, those took way longer than they needed to take. That's 50 KC. I'm freaking dang. Okay, I don't know what to say. That was, that was a lot on the brain. Please. Dang, bro. All right. All right. There we go. We got something today. A crystal armor seed. Oh, man. Okay. We just need two more of those bad boys. This is very pong. Very nice. Very nice. All right. KC53. Do we get the back to back? No, but that's fine. I'm still happy. Ah, all right. I feel like it's time to go mix things up a little bit with some Cerberus. I'd like to get the Eternal Crystal so that I can wear the cool boots as I fight the Whisper. So I'm going to be sending all the Cerb tasks I get. I'm super dry. I'm owed about six more crystals. This dry streak was epic. I streamed all of it. Ooh, a 31. We take that. Oh, yes, bro. I'm happy I got the Prims. I'm really happy that I got the Pegasians. But part of me feels incomplete without getting the Eternals. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, another primordial crystal. Oh my. I've I killed 1012 before I saw my first one and then I just saw two in the last 30. Wolf. Oh, damn it, dude. Gosh. 1,099 KC, and we have our third Pegasian Crystal. I'm just upset that I got happy for a second. And the final kill on my task is... Good night, Or. All right. I don't even know what just happened. I'm going to I'm going to say this right now. I'm I'll look back at the tape. I know it was 36 HP. I wasn't scared. I don't know. That was a perfect run. I don't know. I, I want to see what happened. All right, gamers. Are you ready for me to break this down for you? It looks way worse than it actually was. So what's going on here is I get hit by two tornadoes and then I step on two of the orange tiles, which all four of those things damage me. And on top of that, I prayed correctly against one of Hunliff's auto attacks. That's why you see the two hit splat and boom. I only get hit about a 60, which is really like that's manageable. That's why I don't I don't panic too hard in that situation. Hey, that 
was a new PB. Sub 11 minutes. Let's go. That's kind of sick. Never rewarded. I was right. doing the gauntlet and I ended up pulling an elite clue, which I was able to swap for a master. And I just spent the last hour and a half doing this master clue. And the final step ended up being in the deep wilderness in multi-combat. And I do not want to waste this hour and a half that I just spent. So I'm actually going to go out there and try to complete this master clue <laughs> none of my friends are online so i'm gonna have to use my main account to scout and i'm just gonna be out there all alone i'm a little scared but i'm geared to the tits this should be fine hey look at who it is it's me on my other account there we go i see it come on go 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 no i don't have dude what i have to do a puzzle i didn't i don't have time for this oh my gosh i i was not prepared all right master casket obtained let's get out of here just a calm brisk walk to 30 wilderness and back to safety so nice all right here's the master clue good luck I just risked everything for 600k. What's up, gamers? I'm just calm, cool, collected, 63 HP, no food, and about ready to kill Hunlev. How are you? Ooh, I cut it close on that one, dude. No food and 59 HP. I did not want to leave. I had two perfected weapons and it had been a while since I completed a KC. We are up to 93, ladies and gentlemen, in 93. I'm seven away from 100. Good luck. Nothing. Sometimes I even surprise myself with these preps. I have 12 food and double perfected weapon, and I had like time to walk in. All right, I need to pay attention now, sorry. Hey, what do you know? Another elite clue. I'm gonna go drop that off. Ah, uh, we're almost at 100 of that one. Well, I mean, we're, we're there. We're, we're at 97. Okay, I'm three away from 100. I haven't gotten anything cool tonight. Good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, you know. KC number 100. I thought I'd feel more accomplished, to be honest. I just know there's going to be nothing in here. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing in there. All right, I mean, cool. All right, with 100 KC done of the Corrupted Gauntlet, I am ranked 558 while on this grind. While being ranked 18 front page for the normal gauntlet. Here's the collection log. At the beginning of the video, I promised one of those super cool rings that I don't have by the end. So it is time for us to get a Slayer skipping. Uh, I'm searching for a specific task so that we can go and hunt one of those rings. I have been Slayer skipping for hours, okay? I'm about to murk some penguins and vent to you. The task that I've been going for is extremely common i would say it's probably one of the more common tasks but i've legitimately been doing this for like three hours if you have autism you might already know the task that i'm going for i don't want to spoil it for those that are not autistic so i won't say it yet but i swear bro we don't get this task soon <sighs> all right dura daddy give it to me baby hi Yes! Oh my god! Oh, oh, I'm free. Oh my gosh. Yes, bro. We can finally go and fight the stupid Dagonoth Kings. Thank you. Bro, I have not fought these Dagonoth Kings in like way over a year. The good news is I got a lot better gear than the last time I was there. So this should be easier. But yeah, dude, I just watched like a two minute guide. I think I remember most things and we're just, we're going to send it. Okay. Like, like these bosses were added to the game back in 2005. How hard could they possibly be? What can I say? I knew it. These are no Dagonoth Kings. Look at this guy. I'm destroying him. I walked in and I just started murking all of them. Uh, I'm still on my first trip, but... Yeah, these are not Dagonoth Kings. These are these are mere choir boys. Um, yeah, dude, they just I've been demolishing them. This is way easier than I remember. Shout out to having good gear. 
they're getting Ooh, nice little hard clue scroll i think that's actually all i needed to go get a master that was great timing uh, okay tank we're good we're good we're good and all right i'm gonna go back to killing these things oh oh hey cool a collection log a mud battle staff of that too that's kind of cool I didn't know I still needed one of those, but, and I, I also had no idea that he dropped it. And, uh, now we have it. A hard clue and a mud battle staff. This trip is, uh, it's not too shabby. What? <laughs> Dude, this is literally two kills later. We just got the seer coal. I don't even know what the seer coal is. Once again, no idea that that man's dropped it and uh that i didn't have one but yeah that's pretty cool all right this is this is this trip is extremely eventful kind of starting to be worth this layer skipping not entirely but yeah that slayer kiss uh, that, 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 that that slayer skipping was awful <gasps> oh my god no! Dude, that is literally the next kill. The next kill. I just got the Sears ring. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, what? What just happened? I'm in shock. I'm... I have no idea what that RNG just was. That was three collection logs and four kills, including the ring I came down here for. For uh, the first trip. There, he's teeing off on me. I should leave. I should probably leave. Wow. Wow. I'm still just sitting here in shock. That was amazing. I'm going to go check to see if I have enough Nightmare Zone points to imbue it. I don't think I do have it, but let's just go check anyways. But oh my gosh, like what just was that? That was insane. That was that was worth the Slayer skipping. Oh man. The fact that I just got the Sears ring, like that grind could have been hours that was maybe 20 minutes no that could have been days that could, i could have gone so dry i could have had to go get another task that was seriously oh man we don't have enough points um yeah that was seriously 20 minutes and now i got one of the rings baby hardcore armor lord of the rings let's go the cherry on top was i also got that hard clue and i was right that was the only clue i needed to turn in to go and get a master clue uh bad news is i need yeah i have 84 wood cutting i need 85 so i can boost and then burn a redwood log for this step so i got like 10 hours of afk wood cutting in in front of me so i'm going to start and edit this actual video that you're watching and uh yeah hopefully we can cap it off with a nice master clue you know may maybe a little maybe the master pet little clue dog why not this master casket required 10 hours of wood cutting a quick trip to the wilderness and wait oh i don't know why oh, sorry it was purple uh yeah we got nothing Woo! that was funny i thought i was gonna get the pet we did it fellas that wraps up episode one of Hardcore Iron Man Lord of the Rings. We got a lot done, baby, dude. A hundred Corrupted Gauntlet KC. We finished the serve task. I got an armor seat, another Pagasian, another Primordial, Mud Staff, two Masters done. And you can't forget the Sears Ring. I got a lot cooking for episode two. So if you like this one, make sure you subscribe. If you love me so much that you can't wait until the next video, come swing by my Twitch. I'm live playing this account almost every single day. You can watch a lot of the progress there. I also do a podcast every week with some other amazing streamers. I would check that out. This has been an absolute blast and I cannot wait to get to episode two. I will see you then, fellas.